I was very fortunate to get involved in a Bond for Life very early on because Benjamin contacted me, I think, one and a half, two years ago via Facebook because I had done various uh, Bond-related projects like movie rescores, uh, scores for uh, mod projects like GoldenEye Source, Nightfire Source, and uh, he got in touch with me and told me that he basically uh, enjoyed what I did and appreciates it. Um, and he asked me if I wanted to be part of this project of Bond for Life. And I thought, hey, Bond for Life sounds great. There's Bond music right up my alley. And I had some vague knowledge about what it is about, really. And I just said, hey, yeah, let's have some fun. I'm going to be part of it. That's, that's cool. Is it, is it a posh M? Yeah? Yeah, that's All right. Since this is not a Bond documentary, it's a personal documentary with the Bond touch to it uh, and also incorporates the Bond thing and Bond fandom into it, there was quite a big amount of, of other music that had to be written uh, apart from James Bond music like uh, suites for, for life, for great landscape images or just personal stories and that got quite frightening and you know, thinking of, only thinking about it that you are going to score a person's highlights and low points in his life was quite threatening but Benjamin was always very great and supported me and he was very kind and generous and always said you know don't worry we'll get through it <laughs> we're just we're just gonna make it it's not a problem don't worry just I'll trust you and it's gonna be fine have a gentle fade yeah out of the music yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. dun, dun, dun. it gives gives people time to breathe yeah yeah, or just some da 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 Yeah. Something like that, and then yeah. silence, yes. This is a quite interesting thing I would like to show you as well. This is uh, how I record uh, brass woodwind instruments, so you can just blow notes, which is quite an interesting technology. Uh, so I can show you the example with the French horn for... Bond for Life really means a lot to me. It's really, it's such a unique and special project. It's something that's never been done before and probably uh, will never be done again. And so it was special for that alone. And it holds a very special place in my heart because it was very great and it was a great compliment from Benjamin to trust me to make the music and to take care of the music, which is a big emotional aspect of a documentary or a movie. And just the emotional value of the whole project is just, you can't measure that and uh, what I always like to say is how many times in life do you get the chance to score a movie project uh, that features various Bond girls and uh, Academy Award winners and big actors and songwriters and all that kind of stuff from the Bond world that we love so much I mean how many times in life do you get that chance uh, on top of all the other great things that that project brought along.